When I was younger, there were so many things I wanted to do and wanted to be in life. I wanted to make music, make videos, I wanted to explore the world and learn its languages. Ten years ago, today, I would jump into bed at night and sleep with a head full of dreams and possibilities for the future. And I feel like I woke up one day and I was ten years older, always tired, not wanting to get out of bed because all those dreams I had, they never left my bed either. And I'm not saying I just sat around doing nothing for 10 years. As you can see on my wall, I got some more figures. And I got a degree too, but that doesn't really feel important to me. I find it quite hard to be proud of myself for anything I do. Getting my degree definitely wasn't easy for me. I've struggled with education ever since high school, but I always told myself I want to the, the degree is what I want to get, that's what I want. And then I got it and it just, it didn't feel like anything. And that's another reason why I've never really worked towards my goals. Because there was one goal I worked towards and I just wasn't proud of it. And it's really hard when you, when you just can't find pride in anything you do. Something everyone always told me growing up is, you can be anything you want to be and you can do anything you want to do. And I don't think anything has ever been as detrimental to me as being told I can do anything. Because I think it's true and suddenly there are a hundred paths I want to take in life with no idea how to take any of them. So I just stay stuck in the same place and spend my life and time thinking wouldn't it be great if I could do this or I'd be so much happier if I was in that position right now but I never do anything about it I'm really bad at learning new things if I'm not good at something on the first try then I just quit straight away and I don't want to be like that anymore art and animation is something I've genuinely wanted to learn for a while now and I keep telling myself Imagine how good I would be if I actually spent these last 10 years learning without stopping to think. Imagine how good I would be in 10 years time if I started today. Making videos, making content, it's something I want to do. But it will never happen if I never do it. So here I am, doing it. I have never really drawn before, at least not this much but I've been working on this video for a month now and I'm already seeing improvements from when I first started and it's okay if my art doesn't look perfect right now because I'm just learning and lastly the most challenging part of this for me is my voice I hate hearing myself back and I feel like it just all sounds unnatural and gross the way I talk but I'll work on it and I'll learn how to be better at that too. It's a really scary thing to be publicly bad at something, but that is how we learn. I'm okay with being bad now because it means I can only be better in the future. When doing anything, the first step is always the hardest and today I can finally be proud of myself and say that I have taken it. And the way I see this video can go one or two ways. Either I work hard on this channel and I work hard on myself and continue uploading, continue putting the effort in and making these videos, or I stay the same. Nothing changes and this video sits here on its own to be forgotten about. If you're watching this in 10 years time and that's the case, this is the only video, then please be better than me. If you want something, please go and chase after it. There's never going to be a better time than right now to start doing the things that you love. I waited this long already and because of that I've wasted 10 years worth of progress, but that shouldn't be an excuse not to start doing it. If on the other hand you're coming here and 10 years from now, I did manage to be successful, I managed to change my ways and 
start finally trying towards the things I want to do. And you were curious to see how I started out, where this all began for me. This is it. It was me taking a risk, stepping out of my comfort zone and putting myself out there. And if that's the case, then I encourage you to do the same. No matter which way this video goes, I hope it can spark something inside of you and encourage you to finally take that first step towards your goals and ambitions in life. There really is no better time than now.